Hi YouTube, uh, I am Castle, and I've noticed a sentiment lately on a lot of videos about how people are really frustrated with trade. They, for the main reason that they can't get responses, especially for lower value items and for bulk item currency trading. They will message a million people and no one will ever respond to them. Game sucks. So, my goal in this video is to give you a few tips that will hopefully get your responses much quicker, much money, fewer attempts. So, go ahead and do the trade website. So the first thing would be, let's say you're buying, you're a new, newish player, you have a little bit of chaos saved up and you want to buy some spicy uniques. Maybe you're re-rolling, you want to level a character, maybe you want to buy a nice gold rim or something. And at this point in the league, people are so rich that they don't feel like leaving their map to sell a gold rim. So type in gold rim. You're gonna see it all starts at these trash. You don't wanna buy this one because it's enchanted. You can't wear level one, but you start to get to the good ones, three chaos. And this actually looks good because this guy posted it 10 minutes ago, but most of the time if you start on the list and you just start messaging people, it's actually not going to work because it's by default sorted by price. And the reality is many items, even if they're not being price fixed, there's a million reasons why something could be posted for a lower price. Maybe they put it in a st stash tab that's 3 chaos by accident. Maybe they had it there for, for a while and they haven't played in a while. They just log in for the first time and then it came up again. You know, there's a million things that could have happened. It's not just price fixers, even if there is price fixing also. And so what you want to do is you want to click this, the, the, uh, the timestamp posted 11 minutes ago, and you click it, and it'll show you ones that are posted just now. And look at this, 40 all res for 4 chaos. I'm going to try that one. And um, first response, or first guy responded to me instantly. Okay. So this is an item that's pretty hard to get at this point. Um, and you see like the lowest one that was worth anything was 3 chaos. So if you're filtering by time sorted, then you will get messages much more often. Uh, so next, uh, let's say, sorry, one moment. Now there's another way to do this as well. Uh, if there are, let's say there's some items that are really trash, really trash, like gold rim is trash, but it's still 3C, like Wanderlust is a good one where that shit is gonna be worth nothing. One Alk, one Chaos, right? So you can try this thing again and you're gonna see that some of them are worth, you know, 5C instead. Uh, and basically you have to accept in the current year that, you know, you're gonna have to pay maybe a little bit of a premium to get these items because they're simply not worth trading, which you could argue is a larger problem with the game. <laughs> Uh, but that's just how it is, and Chris Wilson, our god, has pretty much made it pretty clear that there's no plan on adding asynchronous trading. So just in case they never make any improvements to the trading system, you know, you need to be able to do this. And it's really not so bad when you know the little things. So you might be thinking, oh my god, I'm a new player, and 5 Chaos is so much money. But it's really not that much money. Uh, and you know, you just, the most important thing is that you're just playing the game. You're not sitting in the hideout messaging a million people. You're actually killing monsters. You need to be killing monsters. So the more item, monsters you kill, the more items you're dropping, the more chance you have of finding chaos orbs and therefore making money. And if you're a newer player, a good tip would be just, if you are like, can't even do white maps yet, your character just sucks so much and you just have no money. And all the people you're trying to message for your one chaos item are not responding to you, then I would do some blood aqueducts until you have a few chaos saved up and maybe a tabula even from the humility cards. And just do that until you can afford some of the little bit of the premium you have to pay for these noob items. And so 
let's say, oh, no one's buying them for one chaos, but I'm willing to spend, you know, three chaos for this item because no one's responding. And so instead of having to filter through every single one chaos and one alchemy person, you could just put a minimum of three chaos down here and you'll see everybody. And then even better, we can sort yet again by time posted. So not only is it at least 3C, but it's also posted by time sorted. And this guy posted it two minutes ago for 5C. They are not enchanted or anything. Message this guy. And hopefully once again, I'll get a instant response. The important, the reason it's important that they just posted it is because maybe somebody posted something like two weeks ago and no one messaged them for it. And then they have this trash item and they're not going to leave their map. Now they are a big juicer with a headhunter. Then if you leave your map with a headhunter, you lose all your buffs. So like, why would you leave your map for a shit trade like that? Um, but if they just posted it, then it's somebody who actually still cares about this five chaos because they just posted it for five chaos. So why would you post an item? that you don't care about so yeah uh that is important posting it sorting it by time posted that's probably the number one thing for items that are like lower value uh, and then <laughs> don't care about those the last thing would be for if you are doing bulk trading like this so I want to buy chaos for my exalt that I dropped because I'm I'm now in the big dick club and I have an exalted orb that I luckily dropped from my white map, and I really want to buy items for my build, but no one will message me for my exalted orb. Uh, so I want chaos. I have an exalt. So you're gonna see the screen, and immediately you're gonna be blasted with these people. These 178s and 177s, obviously the price will change, but you're going to have these people at the top. Uh, these people, they're not even necessarily price fixing. Maybe, again, maybe it's they had it up from before. They haven't updated their shop thing. They're not responding to anybody. But if they are responding to people somehow, they are getting fucking spammed. You have to understand, because they probably have more than just this as well. They have, you know... Exalts to chaos and chaos to exalts and fusings to exalts and ex fusings to exalts and exalts to fusings and everything. So you can imagine how many messages they're getting. These people are just not going to respond to you, like straight up, straight the fuck up. So what you have to do is, and you, you can't think of it like you're losing money because you were never going to get responded to by these people. You just have to understand that. Um, so the actual price of what an exalted orb would be is when you go down and the price is like stabilized stabilized meaning you know the majority of people who have the kind of the median price the majority of people who are posting this item are in that range right i just did something by accident i don't know what i did okay there we go um so we scroll down a little bit and you're seeing 530 for three so we're still in the 176 range. And it looks like 176 is about what where we're at right here. But 176 is probably still very juicy. So I'm going to go down to 175. And you're going to be like, oh my god, I'm losing one Chaos Orb. I should be getting 176 Chaos Orbs. But I'm actually only getting one second. But like, it doesn't matter. Because you're going to get that one Chaos Orb back in like the first fucking map you do after you buy the Exalt. So you might as well just not be sitting there trying to get that one extra chaos like it doesn't matter it's chump change it's pennies okay in the grand scheme so i'm going down to 175 and look and then when you do that you want to oh fuck i did it again i don't know what i did don't click don't click on this whatever you do <laughs> okay let's so go down to 175 and then you want to find a person with good stock so like this guy's 30 to 300 chaos orbs so I'm going to message this guy. And he's also Asian uh, name. S super juicy. If they're an Asian name, they always respond to you. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to message the 175 chaos person. Uh, and at this point, also, if you really want, you could just start spamming people. And, like, if somebody happens to invite you, like, after you've already accepted someone else's invite, you can just, you can either be a dick and... You know, decline their invite and don't say anything. Save time. Uh, it feels like you're being a dick, but really most people understand that 
Um, you know, if you decline the invite, it means you don't need it anymore, and I'm not going to be too mad about it. Uh, and if you're smart, you don't leave your map until the person's accepted your invite anyway. So it's not a big deal. Uh, that person didn't respond to me, so I'm going to do it again. After all that, so this person has 3,400 chaos. Do that. And this person has, this is ACFK though, but that's, that would be a really juicy one. That's this person as well, the guy's offline. And so there it is, okay. So second person uh, bought my Exalted Orb. And as long as you're willing to lose, you know, maybe 2C, like what's 2C, you know? It's nothing, it's nothing. So you're, you have to understand that trading, you're gonna pay a little bit of a premium because trading requires time and the person is spending time that they would otherwise be farming to give you the item that you want. So you gotta pay this little bit extra usually, but that's okay. And as long as you accept that and don't waste too much time trying to get the max juiciest price possible, then uh, you'll get trades really fast. And people who are saying this, you know, I can't ever get a trade are doing it wrong, straight up. You have to do it like this, or you won't get trades. Uh, and with these few key pieces of insight, hopefully you will have a much better time trading in this game. And yeah, I'm sure there are other videos like this, but I feel like the more sources, the better. And I've just never been done in my voice. So yeah. Also, I didn't really explain how to, oops, I didn't really explain how to actually navigate the website very well in this video. I just assume you already do. So maybe if this video does well and you'd like a little tutorial on how to navigate PoE trade, then I could do that as well. But for now, this is just a few little tips on how to get responses. Thanks for watching and stay sane, I exile XD.